All right, welcome back to WMAC Now with your host Chuck Stevenson coming at you with a fight review. So we're going all the way to Milan, Italy for Bellator Euro Series number eight. This time we're going to the strawweight division. Kiara Pen Beastie Barbie Penko coming in four and two, taking on Alexandra Tancheva Plamanova coming in at two, one, and one. So first round, uh, Penko uh, back Tancheva to the outside where Tancheva was able to catch a low kick and threw an overhand right and using the kick and then the overhand right uh, grabbed Penko and took her down. Tancheva went straight into Penko's guard. Uh, Penko decided to work the rubber guard and then, you know, just a regular high guard uh, to eventually latch on a triangle choke. Uh, once she had the triangle on, Penko worked, instead of put, putting the arm across like usual to tighten the choke, she decided to work on a straight arm bar from the triangle, then eventually tried to tighten the choke, and then she, you know, went back to straightening the arm again. Uh, Tancheva was able to slip out to guard again, or she was able to basically, she slipped out the back, but then went, you know, stayed in Penko's guard, uh, while Penko was able to keep her posture broken down, and Penko lasted, or excuse me, landed small punches from the bottom to finish the round. So majority of the round was Tancheva stuck in the triangle of Kiara Penko. Second round, uh, Tancheva came out the aggressor. You know, she was threw some overhand rights and even landed a few. Uh, Penko, man, she looked stiff on the feet. I mean, straight up and stiff. Uh, she was on one leg at one point and Tancheva threw a low kick to the leg that was on the ground and it knocked Penko to the ground and I don't know what Tancheva was thinking but decided to follow Penko to the ground and got in her guard again. This time Penko, she didn't waste any time. She threw up the high guard. Uh, at first she went for an arm bar attempt but Tancheva was able to shrug it off so Penko threw up the triangle again. Uh, this time Penko wasn't able to really tighten it up like she needed to, but instead just started throwing punch after punch after punch after punch to Tancheva's head. Started looking at the ref, was like, you're going to basically even like beckoning him to stop the fight. Eventually the referee did intervene, giving Kiara Penko the win via TKO at 4 minutes 27 seconds of the second round. So I'll be honest, the, the stoppage was questionable. Yes, Tancheva was trapped. But she wasn't being choked out, and Penko wasn't going to knock her out with those punches. I mean, yeah, she was kind of stuck there, but it wasn't really worthy of a TKO stoppage. I wouldn't have stopped it if I were the ref. I'd let it go. I mean, she just wasn't in danger. She was stuck, but she wasn't, like, really in danger. Um, it's a much-needed win for Penko, like the commentary said because she got absolutely embarrassed in her last fight by Danny Nealon, who only had one previous pro fight before that. Um, and I'll be honest, even in a win, Penko disappointed me yet again. Uh, so for things to work on, for Alexandra Toncheva, needs to work on her fight IQ. You spent the majority of the first round stuck in a triangle. Why would you follow a su obviously superior grappler to the ground and oblige her by getting in her guard again. That was just dumb. Now for Pengo, I've got a few more things for her to work on. First off, she needs to learn to relax on the feet. She's too upright, she's too stiff on the feet. Also, she needs to learn how to tighten up that triangle and get it to the finish. Like twice, she had Tancheva in a triangle, two rounds, and was unable to get the choke. And then finally, you know, you can't be content to work from your guard. I mean, that's how she lost her last fight. She was way too content to work in her guard against Danny Nealon. Grand Danny Nealon's very good grappler and wrestler as well. But in my opinion, Penko was just too content to lay on her back and stay in guard. You can't be content. If you have a superior position, even if you have a submission in, you can use that submission to sweep your opponent and get to top. And then work from there. Especially if you're not obviously choking. If you have like a triangle choke. And you're not going to be able to choke them out from there. Use it to roll your opponent over. Or get the sweep. Get to top position. Get a better position from there. Or get back to your feet. Don't be content 
to work from your guard because majority of judges are not going to favor you if you're on your back most of the round, even if you have a, you're working on submission after submission. So don't be content to work from guard. As far as fights to work on, you know, I would say Penko versus Nealon because they're the two winners from the strawweight bouts from this event, but they just fought each other like right before this, like earlier this year. So, and it wasn't even like a contest. I mean, Nealon just embarrassed Penko. So no point there. Maybe match one of those two up with uh, Kerry Melendez. As for Tancheva, I don't know. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the fight. Let me know yours in the comments down below. Of course, if you like the video, please give it a like as well. I will uh, link to it in a pinned comment. Anyway, while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to WM Macy Now, the most complete women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.